Hey guys, Zoe Saint here and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and let's cover the roadmap part two that we just received earlier this morning. April 23, it is covering May, June and July content that will be dropping for Lost Ark in the coming months. As we can see there, just a quick little thing. Obviously, in May we're getting Hell Helmetan, you know, Hell Monkey it seems, which is like a challenge event, I believe. In June, it seems we are getting Enkinder, which has sadly been renamed to late on. We'll get to that in the patch notes and then in july we're not really getting much except for like a makoko the event i think the pirate event or something like that like the beach event is coming back so without further ado let's just hop into it heroes of akaji we're excited to share the second part of the 2024 roadmap blah -de blah -de blah and there is everything there there's like a 29 minute video breakdown of it i haven't actually watched that i just opened it up to see if it was quick or not and if you want to go check that out go check that out so let's move on to may with the TMI Legion Raid releasing in April and many players are still working to vanquish the most powerful demon commander progressing through Transcendence, the month of May is focused on exploration and events. The chapter of Thaman will draw to close with an epilogue story. A new, a new event will be held at the beginning of Lost Ark's next adventure. So the Thaman epilogue can only be completed by players who have cleared Thaman hard mode and will be able to experience the Darkness Legion Commander's epilogue in a new story, Shadow of the Moon. So you have to do hard mode to actually get to the story. Which is a little bit unfortunate for all those big story enjoyers, but I myself, I'm not too interested in the story, but we will be doing hard mode Thaumine eventually anyway. So there is that. Trial Guardian Raid Hanumatan. 500 years Guardian Hanumatan. Yes, yes, yes. So he's coming at with a new Trial Guardian now. Is your time to do so with speed and precision. The Trial Guardian Raid Hanumatan will arrive in May for heroes that will test their skills and speed against a powerful up version of the guardian the trial guardian works a little different than the previous uh, iterations two key changes is that the item level will be a lot higher and there are first time clear rewards that grant gold alongside the classic rewards of titles achievements and item level of 1600 for normal and 1630 for hard mode version for this challenge players will be able to take on trial hamilton to find out for fastest clear times for all new rewards defeating hard mode will also grant the gold rewards from the normal mode so that is something we're definitely going to try out um hopefully this lasts like and lasts a few months and doesn't last for only may so we can actually take advantage of the extra honing coming with in kidness so we can actually get to 1630 a lot cheaper so let's carry on over there music box of memories i don't really I haven't even started the first music box but there's a second one coming out for you guys if you want to go do it so there you go there's a cruel toy castle island a new adventure island known as cruel toy Castle Island has appeared in the southern seas of Shushire. Players can enter using the Broken's Compass and you'll be able to earn achievements, uh, title, island soul, and find new Makoko seeds. So more horizontal stuff. There's a new island. Enjoy. Western exclusive cosmetics. We uh, conducted some research and found that a significant number of our players really like anime. Oh, really? Like, okay. So this year, our Western cosmetics will be designed to evoke 80s and 90s anime, where magical girls and boys went to school during the day and moonlighted as magical beings at night okay so madoka magical girl um outfits coming apparently these skins will stay exclusive to the western version lost arc for six months so we'll see how that goes stronghold updates design points structure book uh 29 new structures are being added bunch of stuff there for stronghold so this is all still dropping in may by the way chaos assault the first part of the curzon pre prelude event chaos assault will ar arrive in may players will need to head to Mount Zagoros where Chaos has taken hold and defeat hordes of enemies by entering distorted Chaos Rifts that will open in Mount Zagoros. There's a special suppression meter for the event that increases more enemies are defeated and resets daily at 6am server time. Defeating enemies or filling up the suppression meter will grant special powders that can be exchanged for special rewards at the event shop. That's pretty cool. I like the it's like a greater rift pretty much. It sounds like it. Uh, can earn special new drop called wishful embers the difficulty of the field uh, varies depending on the player's character item level but the same rewards are distributed regardless of the item level will be a fun event with some lore tie-ins as we head towards the events of kurazan in june so this is all in may so open chat added to global chat so no idea what that means but sure okay then we have june we got the sexy snake lady over there a new continent a new raid arrives in the next major chapter of lost ark after exploring and Beginning the Chaos Assault event in Mount Zagoros, you'll be able to venture to South Kurazan to investigate the Surge of Chaos. Chaos Assault Part 2 Kai Shutter, who led the Guardians of the Chaos in a Chain War, is now back in Arcasia. Chaos Assault will continue with new activities in Part 2, titled Return of the Dragon. 
Talk to researcher Marcus at Mount Zagros to learn appearing fortress. Players can enter fortress. Bloody bloody blah. Defeat Kai's Hutter to receive various rewards. Just like part one, the difficulty of the field varies. Okay, okay, okay. So basically, just another part to this Chaos Assault thing, which seems to be like a cool little event where you go in and murder a bunch of stuff. South Corazon continent. With the arrival of the Red Moon, strange events have begun occurring across Arcasia. A mysterious uh, pungent red liquid is corrupting the sea of Ganea and people fear it could be an omen to the return of the demon lord Kazaros. Researchers in Argentine have investigated the substance and determined its origin to be Curzon. Adventures will need to set out to South Curzon to continue these investigations. Player item level 15 80 and above will be able to enter Curzon, a harsh barren land following the chain war Kazaros body blah blah blah. So it's a new continent basically unlocking the new raid obviously like always unlocking the new content. Take on new quests, meet new report NPCs, earn new achievements, titles, cards, emotes, and more than the more when you explore South Corazan. Kazaros Raid Ladon. So you can see she has been renamed to Ladon. I don't quite like this name, but it is what it is. We all know her as Inkinda. Booba Mommy, Booba Snake Lady, there she is. Arriving in South Corazan is the first Kazaros Raid, an all new set of raids players will be have conquer in order to someday face Kazaros himself. This is an 8 player raid with 2 gates featuring new enemies and mechanics. The main enemy is Ladon who was the covetous legion commander long before Vikas came to power. So she was there before Vikas. You'll be able to challenge Ladon in normal mode at an item level of 1620 or in hard mode at an item level of 1630. This raid introduces new mechanics, allied force skills which is a new twist on the sidereal skills that you can use in the party. New Kansas Raid is a new piece of endgame content alongside existing Legion Raids, Abyssal Raids and all that stuff. So you'll obviously be able to earn gold, achievements, titles, trophies and mounts. And they'll also be including the new materials for the progression system Advanced Honing. So we will be getting Advanced Honing in June, which is actually going to boost you from 1620 all the way up to 1640. Uh, for much cheaper than what it actually is to hone so it's a lot better system and i can't wait to actually get into this is why i don't suggest going past 1620 unless you really really want to do thermite now but since this has been announced for june it's only two months away and we can get this and you can get up to um, 1630 and then 1640 as well for pretty cheap to proceed with advanced honing to gear push to retain my tempering first sidere weapons along with upper ancient gear with item level 16 20 and above can be tempered with the argus scales obtained in normal mode or the alicone's eye which is from hard mode uh, advanced honing levels 1 to 10 so 1 to 10 is unlocked in normal mode basically you go from 16 20 to 1630 with this new system uh, from the normal mode and then obviously if you add 1620 which you need to be to actually use the system you gain 10 idle mills now you'll be hard mode ready 1630 and then you can go ahead and do the other levels in hard mode from 11 to 20 which will then put you at 1640 once you are done with that and then you know you're more than ready to go in and try out hard mode day mine to reach the advanced honing level 20 a single gear piece must be tempered twice you got to do from 1 to 10 and you're going to do from 11 to 20 and then bam you'll actually get your 20 item i'll make a whole video about this because i don't really know too much about it myself i've just seen a few things from the korean streamers and youtubers but we will cover this uh, extensively once we actually do get into it but basically long and short if you are 1620 it unlocks the system obviously you can do normal mode um snake lady then and then you go from normal mode 1620 to 1630 using this advanced honing and then once you're 1630 you can now do hard mode and you can obtain these which then pushes you up from 1630 to 1640 with the last three 10 item levels and then 1640 is where you'll be ready for the next raid coming out after that which will be um what's his name behemoth we have no idea when that's coming out so that's all about tempered honing and then in july enjoy some fun in the sun and relax in the Morocco festival in between your continued battles against Leyden and working to progress through advanced honing with those systems still fresh no major content pieces will be arriving we are still looking forward to ways to add a few more things to the July update and we'll keep you informed as we lock down the content and updates in the update. So July, pretty much just like a chill out month, you know, go through the advanced honing, get everything done. We'll have the Maharaka festival there. So a bunch of rewards and stuff and things there. So we'll see how this all goes um, in July. I don't think there'll be much content in for July. Maybe we'll get some new skins or something like that. They did say they're going to try and work something in there. So we'll see what we actually end up with. But it looks pretty good to me. I'm really excited for this advanced honing and to actually go ahead and do late on because I am 1620 on my breaker. If you guys saw my previous videos, we did clear Thaomine on week one. We'll be going straight in there this week now again to reset and re-clear it. And we'll be slowly working our way towards, you know, saving up gold and stuff to actually hone from 1620 to 30 
with this and we'll do a few videos coming up soon so we can actually cover this advanced honing thing so i can really see what kind of a difference this makes but i think it would be worth it waiting for this if you are 1620 currently instead of trying to push to 1630 yourself and then it, i think it does end up being more expensive if you go from 1620 to 30 by yourself without the advanced honing so i'm gonna wait for that i'm excited for a new raid after Thayamine. i know he beat the shit out of us so she is apparently much much easier than him so it'll be nice relaxing road to go in there and try it out see some new bosses and mechanics so i can't wait for it looking good june really really hype for june and then may obviously we do want to go try out hell monkey there so we'll only be 1600 so we'll probably be like super juice for the normal mode so go ahead and try out hell monkey there we're pretty fun see you guys there also i will be streaming right after this video goes live so come on by drop by tell me what you are most looking forward to in the coming roadmap if it is booba lady that has been renamed to laid on advanced honing the chaos assault hell monkey or the maraca event whatever it is you are most looking forward to i'll see you guys there thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please drop a like and a sub as it helps me out so much and i'll catch you beautiful people in the next one okay say now Run free and dive into the sky Hear the wind crying